that is your good energy for the day, so use it right. Today, I'm going to talk about periods. Moon cycle, menstruation, whatever you want to call it. And this video is not just for women. Men, you should know this as well. Um, first off, there's a lot of stigma and programming that has been placed into our awareness about periods, where we look at it as something to dread. We look at it as something shameful, something that should not be talked about, seen, and many women look at it as dirty or nasty when it is the complete opposite. This is a sacred, magical ceremony that deserves acknowledgement. It deserves respect, it deserves connection. And as a woman, instead of dreading it and you know avoiding it and just shoving a tampon in and taking some Midol, you can actually use this as a tool in many, many ways just by connecting to it and tapping into your personal monthly cycles. Um, as women, we are cyclical beings. We have a monthly menstrual cycle. And this menstrual cycle is not just um, a surface level cycle. It's connected to things beyond us, you know, things outside of our own body, like the moon, like the tides, like the seasons. And just like the earth, how it has its four seasons, women go through this on a small scale every single month, where every month we are experiencing the four seasons connected to a different phase of menstruation. For example, to start with spring, springtime would be pre-ovulation, when the body is preparing um, to release an egg. This is when, think about springtime, you know? Flowers are all beautiful, everyone's out and happy, so women, we have higher energy, you know? Where our skin is glowing, we look good, we wanna be seen, and then we go into summer, which is ovulation, where it's a little bit more of a mature energy, a more mother-type flow, where we're communicating, we're outward, we wanna create, we wanna do, we're very sexual. Then we go into fall, which is PMS, where you know things start to slow down a little bit, we begin to go more inward, we begin to kind of you know reflect on our emotions and what's going on around us, we get a little bit more emotional, you know, the symptoms start creeping in. And then we go into winter, which is menstruation. This is when we are inward, we are bleeding. This is a time where we need to be to ourselves to you know, feel what we're feeling, to tap into the wisdom of our womb, to allow ourselves to release, you know, to look back on that cycle and what came up for us. And it's crazy because we're really taught that, you know, you're just bleeding, you're not pregnant, and that's it. But it's, it's so much deeper than that. I look at my menstrual cycle as a gift. It's the ability to purify. We are releasing, we are shedding, not only physically, but emotionally and spiritually. So when you're having very deep PMS symptoms, heavy cramping, heavy bleeding, um, that's usually connected to something emotional or spiritual that you endured in that month or what you were eating. Your body is always speaking to you, especially as a woman, with that intuitive nature. Like your body is literally sending you messages. We behave differently in every cycle and every season. So monthly, as a woman, allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to take time to yourself. The menstrual cycle allows you to learn when it's time for you to be outward and doing and when it's time to be inward and reflecting on yourself. And this comes full circle into a perfect balance of energy. Menstruation is magic. It is absolute magic. Menstrual blood is magic itself. That is life force energy. There are actual stem cells in this blood. There is nutrients that can be recycled back to the earth. So I want to share with you guys a few things that I personally do to connect deeper to my cycle. Um, I use a menstrual cup for the most part which allows me to connect to my blood where I can actually collect it. I can see it. I can see how much comes out of me and then I can do whatever I want with it. Um, I never flush my blood down the toilet. I, I look at the blood as something just so sacred and I look at it as life force energy and I would never, you know, put my own information down the toilet like that because I personally believe that our menstrual blood contains like our ancestral DNA, you know. To me it's just a very deep, a deep meaning so I personally just don't flush it down the toilet. What I do is I collect it and I bring it back to the earth. I put that intention of knowing, you know, Putting a part of me into the earth connects me deeper to my own feminine essence. It connects me to the mother, to mother, mother nature. This completes the cycle and it allows us to put our energy back into the earth and the earth can take that energy and create more energy, just like composting. You know, we look at our food scraps as trash when in actuality it's more energy to create more life. And it's just something feels so good in my heart about putting my blood back into the earth. There's actually this myth that if all women were to bring their blood back to the earth, the world would become balanced again. 
Um, another practice that I do is menstrual artwork where I paint with my menstrual blood. Some people hear this shit and like, yo, she's a witch, she's crazy, whatever the fuck. But I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> um, this is liberating for me. It allows me to connect deeper to my power, to my inner essence. Um, so yeah, I intuitively allow my creative energy to, you know, paint these divine artworks and um, they're usually very like feminine just symbolisms and flow and things like that and I also will put it on my face I'll paint like tribal on my face on my body you know whatever feels right I just flow with it I do um, you know anything that you would look at and be like that bitch is crazy like I'll probably do it type shit just because I like to break boundaries I like to see how much how much more can I connect to myself how much more can I be how much how much more comfortable can I be with myself and everything that I am and what comes with, you know, this body, like. <laughs> also recently started practicing free bleeding, which is where you don't wear anything. You don't wear a menstrual cuff, you don't wear a pad, you don't wear the underwear. Um, you just fucking bleed. And it's a beautiful thing because it allows you to kind of understand the process of you of just watching the blood like release from your body. And um, our ancestors did this, you know, they were the most simple, natural ways possible. So as much as I can do that, I, I strive to really go back to the basic roots of life. And, you know, for the most part, it's been absolutely life-changing and makes me, it makes me honor my own personal divinity so much where I can see that divinity reflected in all beings, all things around me. Like this fly, you know, divine being, like, thank you for doing your thing, you feel me? And I don't know about you, but I accept myself for all that I am especially as a woman. I embrace all of the cyclical changes and fluctuations with hormones, with the physical body, with the emotions, with my spiritual energy, with everything, you know? I really embrace this journey of being a woman and the more boundaries that I can break down to connect deeper to myself and other women and men, I will do it boldly and proudly. And, you know, connecting to my menstrual cycle has absolutely changed my life and my views as a woman. And my duty here like I want to let you guys know that I don't bleed just for myself you know when I am menstruating and purifying my body and it's painful I know that that pain is beyond just me I know I'm bleeding for my ancestors I know I'm bleeding for the collective I know I'm bleeding for you type shit because I understand that I can alchemize that pain I understand that I was given this vessel for a reason and I can literally transmute that pain into love into acceptance and you know everything that comes with the menstrual cycle I love it and I embrace it and I dance with it I flow with it and it is just such a blessing and such a gift to be a fucking woman like I love it I love my womb I love my ovaries oh I love it and I love you men too I love everything that you are and all that you come with and you guys have cycles as well and I honor that and I see it and whew, feels good to be alive <laughs> Um, much love, many blessings. Connect with your menstrual blood. Do not be afraid of it. It's not scary. It is sacred, sacred energy, baby.